who have joined and for the with the interest of time we we should start so first of all i would like to thank every one of you for joining uh, for this program so i i would just like to introduce that you know how i know mr anurag so we are part of a group called bni which is there all over the globe and we we are in a common chapter and we know each other since last more than 6 7 months and he is a chartered accountant with more than 35 years of experience and he has served as vice president and uh, established many brands like hsbc and max new york life insurance and the list is on and on but uh, then you know i would not take much time in that but since last 4 5 years he has found interest in you know establishing this company called shift alt cap which is like shift to alternative capital and he helps people in investing in uh, global brands like apple google microsoft all these things so i i am very happy um, anurag ji that today evening you have with us and i would just like to introduce the group these are all my friends and doctor groups whom i know so we we many time we meet and discuss that you know they all have lot of money but they don't know where to invest so we thought that you know i i'll introduce uh, them to you so over to you anurag bhai and uh, we will have like uh, 20 minutes of presentation from you and we'll, i'll be requesting in between also if anyone has any questions or doubts you can just put it in chat box and we will take it up at the end of uh, the presentation by anurag ji or we will have a live interaction also if you feel any questions to be asked so over to you anurag ji and once again thanks everyone for joining so uh, my sincere thanks to hardik bhai for uh, facilitating and arranging this and uh, uh, my sincere thanks to everybody who has joined this group in today's session and i am honored and deeply indebted uh, for your time today evening <clears throat> i will uh, straight away start with a small presentation that i have created uh, hartik bhai i can share my screen yes you can all right <coughs> so um, <coughs> my company is called shift or cap now the agenda for today's presentation is divided into three parts why we exist and who we are very briefly again part 2 is investors choices and behaviors now everybody talks about what is happening in the market which product which market which stock which property but i want to start with first how do we behave regarding investments because that is as important if not more important than how the market behaves <clears throat> and the third part is about global investing and how we can help you so i'll start straight away with the um let me just minimize this yeah okay so uh there is something called the fourth industrial revolution that we are living through it is affecting the there are 12 sets of technologies in this fourth ir they are affecting the way we work the way we live the way we entertain the way we eat the way we socially interact the way we do commercial transactions the way we travel everything is affected by such technologies i have picked up only three things three activities commute communicate and shop this is how we used to commute communicate and shop yesterday and this is how we do it today now what really happens is that these 12 sets of technologies offer an opportunity for tech companies to bring a competition to traditional businesses and the traditional businesses often suffer because of the fact that they are not able to figure out what competition these tech companies can give you for example something like smartphones 4g and maps they offered an opportunity for a company like uber or ola to be born which killed all the taxi companies right but going forward in our own businesses what technologies can change our businesses and how we can participate in them that is the key what we do is we help investors identify such four ir businesses and invest in them 
how do we see going forward tomorrow we see the way we commute the way we communicate and the way we shop is going to change significantly <clears throat> we identify such investment opportunities in fourth ir fourth industrial revolution technologies there are 12 sets of sets of such technologies and we offer them in two spaces in the unlisted space and in the listed space today we are going to talk about listed portfolios only but very briefly i would like to touch upon unlisted ones also these are startups which are technology based startups which we identify curate mentor and hold them and we take them through a curation and mentoring right up to growth stage and building them up this gives this is a high risk opportunity for investors but the returns are not in percentages the returns are in multiples so i recommend only a very small portion less than 5% of the wealth should go into this asset class on the listed side that we are going to talk today we created ready made portfolios of companies listed on new york stock exchange and we bring those ready made portfolios to investors with as little as $1000 to start with they are low risk to medium risk and uh, the returns have been between 30% 15% to 30% over the last three, three and a half years uh, let's talk about who we are this is about me i am a chartered accountant i have been part of five startups till now you can see on the left hsbc invest direct which uh, was india's second largest uh, second startup on uh, online stock broking hdfc mutual fund i have been uh, uh, fortunate enough to be the original founder in that company and with max new york life insurance in both these companies i was uh, involved in fund management and that is where i learned how to manage money <clears throat> i was also part of city group heading the investments and insurance across city bank city finance and city wealth on the right side you see that i am also fond of teaching and sharing my knowledge with the next generation so i am a visiting faculty at iim ahmedabad i am lucknow bimtech jaipuriyas as well as rizvi college bombay that is very little about me my co-founders are i have already spoken about me we have madhu who is a former vice chairman of amcham he is also a harvard alumni himanshu who leads the digital practice for cognizant with 30000 people reporting to him globally sanjay who comes from a manufacturing background and he uh, specializes in electronic manufacturing so this completes the portfolio of different aspects on technology on manufacturing on finance and so on now we are going to talk about part 2 now about investors choices and behaviors and what are the key to building wealth now this is a section which generally nobody covers but i thought it is extremely important to cover here because that is more important than how the market behaves if you look at aspirations we all have aspirations but we have one life and how do we meet those aspirations by building wealth which depends upon how we manage our investments with common sense with rigor and with science <clears throat> now let's look at how people usually invest and this includes people like me i have behaved like that in the past before i learned how to correctly manage money we invest in four asset classes real estate gold fixed deposits and bonds and equities and mutual funds now each of these have their own characteristics real estate is good to touch and feel but it is not liquid gold does not generate an income but it is extremely liquid and it is generally never sold back it is normally purchased and stored bonds and fixed deposits highly liquid predictable income insured up to 5 lakh rupees but low interest rates equities and bonds equities and mutual fund on the other hand are highly liquid good capital appreciation i am not going to talk about these four we all know them what i'm going to talk about is something else but this was important before i talked about the real thing how do we allocate money across these four asset classes do we apply mathematics and science in allocating what are the portfolio returns so if our wealth is 100 how much of that 100 have we invested in which of these and what are the returns we are getting from each of these do we sit down and calculate that are the investments gold based and most important are they future proof are these four ir technologies going to come and disrupt our investments 
I'm going to specifically talk about, let us say, HDFC Bank. HDFC Bank is the safest bank. It's a good bank. Everybody invested to it. All mutual funds invested to it. But UPI, a totally Indian invention. Do you know that 84% of UPI is controlled by just two organizations, Google Pay and Paytm. And none of these two are Indian. Google Pay is owned by Google and Paytm is owned by Alibaba. Why were Indian banks not able to do that with an Indian invention like UPI? So it is not that we are not aware. It is that we are not yet prepared to deal with the future. So as investors, we should also invest in those companies which are using technologies to disrupt traditional banking, traditional industries, and so on. My last point on this is DIY or seek professional help. Do we have access to information? Do we have availability of time? Do we have expertise of analyzing? If we have all of this, then we are experts. We don't need a professional fund manager. But if we don't have even one of them, we should seek a professional fund manager. Now, this is the end of how we behave. But the secret to building wealth is that um, if you invest into any asset class, whichever asset class it is, it will give you the market returns without effort if you simply invest in that. Let us say you invest into uh, Nifty 50 uh, <clears throat> ETF. It will give you the, the returns of Nifty 50. But the delta is generated either due to science or rigor. And between science and rigor, these constitute 91% of the reasons why returns are above average. And studies after studies, data after data has demonstrated this over the last almost 35 years. I can share this presentation with you with the source at the bottom and you can please go through it. I am comfortable with that. Now let's look at the real thing that I am uh, here to talk about, global investing. Why should you invest in global markets? Let's first understand. A lot of people on this call are doctors and doctors use all kinds of machines from X-ray machines to uh, MRI machines to all kinds of other testing machines. How many of these machines are made in India? And how many of them are not made in India? If you look at that, most of these machines are not made in India. They are made by largely three companies globally who have a majority control over the market. GE, Philips and Siemens. They are the three which largely control the market. So we are consumers of these products. Right? So uh, my, my God. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So uh, if you look at it, these companies from morning till now, so almost like 10 hours since we got up, maybe 12 hours, we have consumed these companies, we have consumed these products since morning. But we are not owners of these companies because we don't invest in them. So the reason number one why we should invest in global companies is that we are already consuming them. We are already consuming their products. We trust them as consumers. What stops us from uh, trusting them as investors? That's first. Second reason. If you, This is a map of the biggest 100 companies globally and which country they are in. If you look at it, the big white portion here on the left is US. 45 out of 100 companies are in the US. Can you locate India? There are only two companies out of the top 100 from India. So US market is like an ocean. Indian market is like an aquarium. We need to start getting out of the aquarium and start swimming in the ocean. As a country, as a nation, when we have gone to the US, we have prospered. Why can't we also invest? And the third one, which is an equally important reason is make the dollar work hard for you. Over the last 25 years, the dollar has appreciated from rupees 35 per, uh, per dollar to 80 per dollar. So if you look at it, the dollar gives you an extra 2.5% per annum return without you doing anything. So if you purchase dollars and you would have kept in the drawer, that would have given you 2.5% return every year. So if you invest in a dollar denominated in investment, in addition to the return that we will deliver to you, you will get another 2.5% from the dollar. But the US market is huge. 
as I, as I just talked about. The question is, what do we invest in the US? There are literally lacks of instruments to invest into. And there are many categories of such products. There are many categories of instruments, not just equities. You even have real estate as liquid. You have 1100 REITs in the US. In India, we have only three. That is the degree of difference in depth. So what we do is, we try to solve this problem of what to invest in by creating ready-made portfolios. Ready-made portfolios are essentially, we do the hard work of creating, of picking the stocks, of creating a portfolio, and we bring them to you in a scientifically created manner. These are called stacks. Stacks basically is, uh, the simple English meaning is a bundle of products or a basket of products. So this is exactly what a stack is. It is a group of underlying shares that you can buy with a single click, the entire portfolio. <clears throat> this is a US focused structured investment product developed by us that can help solve the problem of what to invest in. Number one, it is a basket of investment instruments of all four asset classes. Now we go back to our earlier conversation about equities, bonds, commodities, real estate. In our portfolio, you have all four. Why is that important? I'll come to that in the next slide. Why is it important to have all four in the same portfolio? Second, the selection of instruments is based on a theme. We select a theme, innovation or uh, consumptions or essentials and so on. And we build all those companies within that uh, space. We build into that portfolio in a scientific manner. Third, these themes are selected based on deep research on returns, on preserving capital. So while the market goes up, everybody performs. But what happens when the market goes down? How are your investment advisors able to preserve your capital and not let it erode? That is what makes us a little different from others. Finally, at the same time, asset types and nature of investments are also important. So we have created two themes. One is called innovation, as I talked about earlier. The other one is called essentials. I'm going to talk about both these in more detail now. <clears throat> but before we do that, let us understand how did we build the science and rigor into our product. One, it is theme-based and aligned to the emerging future. Number two, it is balanced a wholesome meal, includes all four asset classes. Number three, Kelly's scientifically driven asset allocation. Now, this is a methodology which we did not know, but we discovered later on that it is also used by Mr. Warren Buffett. Proactive rebalancing. This is something which we do proactive rebalancing so that you don't have to bother about it. We will do it at our end and you will keep getting updates on it. And finally, liquidity. Liquidity is important because if you want to withdraw your money, you should be able to withdraw any day you want. Nobody should be telling you that you can't withdraw or there'll be a penalty. There should be zero penalty. There should be zero lock-in. This is exactly what we have done. So essentially, it is truly global. It, is, it largely preserves capital and I will tell you why. Sharp ratio. Sharp ratio is basically for every dollar of risk that you've taken, what is the return you get? The higher, the better. And finally, the three-year compounded annual growth rate that we have been able to deliver is ranging between 16% to 30% in dollar terms. And this is annually. It fulfills five key expectations of investors. Returns, consistency, liquidity, future-proofing. Basically, technologies which are changing the world are there in our portfolio and capital preservation. Now, I'm going to talk about capital preservation very importantly because uh, this is something which troubles a lot of people. What are the eight benefits? Number one, it is regulated and fully liquid. There is no lock-in and it is fully regulated. Number two, it is insured. Your securities in your custody account are insured up to $5 lakh. Just like your money in your savings bank account in India is insured up to $5 lakh rupees, in the US, as per the law, an individual's investments in his DMAT account or custody account are insured up to $5 lakh, including $250,000 for cash. <clears throat> Multiple asset classes, this is what preserves capital. 
you control your investments. So you never uh, lose control of your own money or your own securities. They are both in your name always. Simple, single click investment. You don't have to go about uh, buying this, selling that. Then they're expert curated rebalancing done by us, not by you. And uh, they are tax supported. So India and US have a double taxation avoidance agreement. We use that to ensure that we are able to deliver tax documentation to the investors from our website. And finally, super normal profits. Let's talk about what kind of profits. These are the two portfolios. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've got a bad throat. Yeah. Um, so these are the two portfolios from Shift Alt Cap. One is called All in Tech. This focuses on only technology companies, robotics, commodities, commodities specifically like lithium, which go into technology companies or palladium or semiconductors like TSMC, the largest uh, semiconductor producer in the world is there in our portfolio. Data center reads. When the world has gone online, online means cloud. Cloud means data centers. Now we invest into those companies that run those data centers because the data on the cloud is doubling every year. So the, those companies that are running those data centers, they are like making big profits. Then biotechnology, renewable energy, and so on. This portfolio is a medium risk portfolio. The second portfolio is essentials. This focuses on the essential items for homes and offices. So things like water, electricity, cybersecurity, um, things like uh, <coughs> data center reads, healthcare, and so on. This is the low risk and low volatile portfolio. Let's look at the returns. Over the last three years, as of 30th June 2022, the top graph shows the total returns, which have been significantly above the indexes in India as well as in the US. The so Sensex and Nifty are shown on the extreme right. And uh, the Standard & Poor 500 index, which is the benchmark index in the US, that is the second from left. And our portfolios are the first and the third, all in tech and essentials. As you can see, our performance in tech is significantly higher than S&P, as well as Sensex and Nifty. But the most important thing is when the markets went down this year, 24% on S&P, 34% on our Sensex and Nifty as of 30th June, our portfolio went down by only 4%. How did we manage that? Because of those four asset classes. When the market stumbled, they tumbled because the interest rate was increased by the US Fed as well as by the RBI. Why did they increase the interest rate? Because inflation went up. And when inflation went up, what went up along with it? What went up along with it is the prices of commodities. What also went up is the prices of rentals. So because we already have commodities in our portfolio, because we already have real estate in our portfolio, liquid real estate, we were able to move money from equities to commodities and real estate and thus were able to preserve the capital, not protect, but largely preserve. And that is important. <clears throat> Where can I invest in these tax? Uh, our website is uh, the one I'm, I'm going to share this deck with you. You can go through it. You can click on it like um, the... Uh, Website is very much live. You can simply click here. It is a 120, uh, sorry, 256 bit encryption website. It is a three step process. Number one, open an account. It is free. It doesn't cost money to open an account. The total process takes about maximum 15 minutes. Although Hardik Bhai told me it took him, took him less than five minutes <clears throat> when he started. Number two, uh, fund the account by making an international remittance from your Indian rupee account to your US bank account. Now here is, I will pause and uh, tell you that when you open an account with us, you automatically get three accounts in the US. Number one, you get a bank account with JP Morgan Chase through our website. Number two, you get a custody account and a trading account with Drive Wealth. Drive Wealth is a US registered stock broker, SEC registered and governed by FINRA rules. It is owned by SoftBank. <clears throat> so, when you remit money, you remit money from your uh, Indian bank account, let us say HDFC bank or ICICI bank to your US bank account, which is JP Morgan Chase account. 
And then third step is single click invest in our portfolios. Now, interesting thing here is in addition to our portfolios, if you really like a particular stock, let us say you like Siemens stock or you like uh, IBM stock, you can certainly use the same platform to buy those direct stocks in addition to our portfolios. And on the security side, <clears throat> our uh, platform is uh, a 256-bit encryption pro uh, platform and it is highly secure. It is better than a banking platform. Finally, about regulations and taxation, remittance is permitted by RBI for individuals. So individuals can remit under LRS and invest, but non-individuals cannot. Non-individuals like a, a HUF or a partnership or a company, they need prior approval, but individual does not need prior approval. Every individual in India, resident in India, can invest up to $250,000 per year globally without seeking RBI permission. If you do more than $250,000, then you need RBI permission in a year. The, <clears throat> secondly, because we have selected only listed stocks and only listed bonds and commodities, which listing ensures compliance with US SEC. So both the regulators in both the countries are complied with. Secondly, on the taxation front, India and US have a double taxation avoidance agreement signed almost 30 years back. That says that income that you make on your investments will be taxed in only one country and not both countries. <clears throat> so any capital gain you make, you don't pay a tax in the US, you pay a tax in India at Indian rates. But if you make a dividend, then you uh, will face a 25% uh, <clears throat> TDS in the US. It is called uh, withholding tax. So let's take an example. Let's say you invest $10,000, which grows to $15,000. The $5,000 gain is a capital gain on which you will pay tax in India and not in the US. But let us say you get a, a, a dividend of $100. On that $100, $25 will be withheld as tax in the US and $75 will be paid to you. That $25 withholding tax that has been deducted, you can download the TDS certificate from our website and give it to your CA when he's filing your return. And you can claim that $25 when you're filing your return here in India, as per law. <clears throat> what are the costs? Management fees, 2% per annum. Charge, charge properly. Um, this is the last slide, actually. LRS remittance fee, which is charged by your bank. And uh, there's, once you remit your money back, what so this is the last slide and i'll uh, love to take questions thank you anurangji so you know just to set the ball rolling i have one question in the chat box from maitri she's just asking about the brokerage uh, fees which you mentioned in the last slide but if you can just elaborate on the charges by shift all cap we we lost your audio noise uh, from one of the audience which is why uh, now we can hear you so my voice can be wrong i got a bad throat hello can you hear me now yes no uh, there's no charge for opening an account there is no charge to uh, invest per annum on your value of your investment. So if you've invested $10,000, if it's 2% over the year, so in this example, on a $10,000 investment, it will charge $50 every quarter. Okay. Are between 15 to 30%. Okay. 
to do it. There is a disturbance. We are not able to understand the charges very clearly. Okay, okay. So I will just tell you. So what Anurag is telling, there is no charge for opening the account. But once you invest your money, so there is a two percent per annum. So for example, if you have invested thousand dollars, so there will be twenty dollars charges per annum, which will be deducted. Every quarterly, so every quarter, five US dollars will be deducted from your account out of your thousand dollars which you have invested. Any other charges are payable in the sense, uh, supposing whatever trades that are executed, are there any other such charges? So only the outward remittance charge which your bank will charge. So suppose you are uh, charging from transferring amount from your HDFC bank. So it will cost like a thousand rupees per transaction, irrespective of how much amount you are uh, transferring. Right, understood. Uh, whatever rebalancing we do in terms of, of buying and selling in the portfolio, we will bear the brokerage, not you. So, uh, Mr. Bhatnagar, if I have understood you clearly, this is a scheme. The Act that you have created is something similar to a mutual fund portfolio. Like I may invest in a mutual fund scheme X. It's something similar to that, and your charges are two percent per annum for that. Uh, is my understanding broadly correct? Um, no. So in mutual fund, you give your money to the fund manager, who gives you units. Right. The fund manager invests in the market, and he owns the stocks. In our, okay. you own the stocks. Okay. So you have direct ownership, and a mutual fund manager can technically, if tomorrow the market crashes by five percent or ten percent, the mutual fund fund manager can technically stop withdrawals. We cannot. Understood, sir. Uh, however, uh, so you, since your stack is. Uh, Whatever rebalancing, etc., would be do you would be doing over a period of time. Uh, there would be transactions involved. So those transactions, the cost of those transactions would be borne by shift alt cap. That's Is that what you said? That's right. I will repeat. Cost of rebalancing is borne by shift alt cap, not the investor, because we initiate those rebalancing. You don't. All right. So, right. so irrespective of the profit or loss or whatever, whatever mm -hmm. is my investment during the year mm -hmm. is where I have to pay you 2% flat fee. Uh, and uh, whatever additions I do during the year, you would charge me on a pro rata basis. So on a quarterly basis, you would be charging on the additional investments, etc. Absolutely right. Uh, however, I would also like to say that in case you want to buy additional shares directly, let us say tomorrow you want to buy shares of IBM in addition to our portfolio. In that case, you don't have to pay us any fees. That 2% will not be applicable. But there will be a brokerage that you'll have to pay to the US broker, which is a very small amount. Okay. So you are you are offering an additional avenue of direct investment. Through yes. your uh, yes, because we don't want to force people to say no, only my product. No, it is your money. If you want to buy a direct stock, why should I stop you? Right. I will actually facilitate it. All right. I think that's that's a good value addition. Yeah. So your we, minimum uh, ticket size is thousand USD. Yes, it is thousand dollars. The reason why it is thousand dollars because uh, a lot of people want to first start with thousand, see how it goes, and once they are convinced, and I've seen that typically it takes two to four months after which they start investing more. Sure, uh, understood. Uh, Ardik, bhai, thank you so much. I think it, it's I'm been really a very right. enriching session. Thank I'm you, Mr. Bhatnagar. I think you made it, kept it very simple uh, while you given us a lot of insights. Thank you so much. Yes, madam. 
we have couple of more questions uh, in chat box also yeah uh, palavi ma'am i'll just take you up to that so uh, maitri has asked one uh, again what about the platform p for jp morgan and drive i i don't know what is drive i drive well yeah so there is no platform fee for jp morgan it is a bank and uh, drive wealth we bear the brokerage as i said uh, so there is no separate platform fee for investors either for jp morgan or uh, drive wealth next question is is it investing in a portfolio fund or direct investments into equity stocks sir it is both portfolio management yes it is a ready made portfolio we don't customize portfolios for individual investors but we create ready made portfolios on a take it or leave it basis yes pallavi ma'am you were asking something yeah i just wanted to know from mr anurag uh, like how is it that we being indian citizens how can we uh, transact money or invest uh, in us okay that's a nice question madam as per reserve bank of india there is a scheme called the liberalized remittance scheme lrs if you just do a google search of rbi lrs you you directly go to rbi website rbi lrs for this scheme rbi allows every resident indian to invest up to 250000 dollars every year in global markets without permission oh okay okay thank you no about it because rbi does not publicize it ha uh, ha ha and uh, i i had just come to know about one gentleman that is parag parag uh, shares i think that he is no more i think if i'm not wrong uh, but his shares were very popular like in uh, international investor hmm. so, uh, so parag parik was running a fund which had 65% investment into india and 35% in the us market through a fund registered in india okay 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 yeah uh -huh. on 1st of february this year 2022 sebi has put a stop on all uh, such mutual funds who are registered in india and investing in the us market oh okay so it, it, to in a very simple way how are you different from that like 65 30 5% so how are you different i mean maybe we these questions yeah. may be very uh, sounding very silly to you but no no so there are two big differences madam one is that uh, parag parik has a mutual fund we don't have a mutual fund it is a portfolio where you directly own the securities okay 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 second is we don't mix between indian and us securities we keep them separate okay and in our portfolio you directly invest into us stocks in dollars not in rupees So not also ha ha and and one more thing uh, now recently they say about this balanced advantage uh, mutual mutual funds so they say it is more secure so is there something like that with your portfolio also yes madam uh, we have two portfolios one is the low risk which is the low all risk. essential uh -huh. is the low risk one and uh, that is the one where uh, which is low risk and decent returns so it's about 15 to 18% kind of return you will consistently keep getting there okay ha ha okay In okay uh, yes. uh, very interesting uh, mr anugrah one one last question is uh, through your account like you say you can register with us uh, with, uh, free of cost whatever but through your accounts we can also purchase uh, st uh, stocks directly yes ma'am oh okay see the i will elaborate on this question see the indian system is a copy of the american system okay. in india for example when you want to invest in the stock market you have to open a trading account a dmat account and a bank account hmm 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 this system is a copy of the american system where the same system has existed for over 100 years oh so there there is a custody account the dmat account in india is called the custody account in the us the trading account is a broker trading account and the bank account is jp morgan so when you 
open an account with us, you automatically get these three accounts in the US because we have tied up with JP Morgan Chase as well as with DriveWell to facilitate this under one umbrella. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. The DMAT account is called what in US? Custody account. Custody. And the other one, uh, trade. Uh, trading account is the same as Indian trading account, like uh, HDFC okay. Securities or ICICI Securities or uh, Zerodha. Similarly, there is uh, a trading account, Drivel. All right. All right. Now, very informative. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Hardik, bhai, I see a couple of more questions coming in. Yeah. What, which quarterly return on the fixed creative portfolio. So uh, the annualized return I've already shared, I can share the quarterly one also. How many portfolios are there? Two. As of now, there are two. One is called uh, all technologies. The other is called all essentials. You can choose either of them or you can invest in both of them. It's entirely your choice. Uh, the third question is, do you suggest recommend to have direct equity purchase if one wants to? If you really are convinced about a particular company's stock, please go ahead. So let us say, uh, I have personally invested in Tesla stock, for example. I'm convinced that Tesla stock is a good stock. So I have gone ahead. And in addition to investing in my own portfolios, I've also invested in Tesla. Then uh, Hardik Bhai, if you can please share the recording and the PPT. I will share the PPT right away, Hardik Bhai. Yeah, sure. So I was just, you know, coming to uh, that example in context of what Pratik has asked. So I have Pratik purchased like uh, two ETFs and I have equally divided the amount like 50-15% in both the stakes. And recently, you know, Nitin, he, he was telling me that, you know, Lily is coming with this uh, Tirza Peritide, which has got F FDA approval. And he suggested me to buy. So I'm I'm just planning to buy that Lily stocks also with the advice. I, I had a word with Anurag ji also on the same that, you know, if I can, at that time, I was not knowing whether I can purchase equities directly, but I'm buying that Lily stocks. Okay. Okay. Got that. Got that clearly. So basically it is uh, basically dependent on one own uh, uh, reanalysis and research and that uh, recommendation, there is no role from. Uh, yes, the exactly. If you're buying. A but stock, if at all, if at all, because we, we, I would suggest that I don't have any expertise for the U S market or something. I, I just know the, uh, you know, the golden companies, which are there from years and were ruling the market. So I can simply go, but there are some opportunities like Indian market must be there, there as well. So that, that based on your expertise, can you suggest or recommend? Is it possible? Uh, so that would fall under advisory. And uh, we do that on a very selected basis. But when the investment is $100,000 and more, because it okay. requires a lot of effort and in the portfolio. We have Indian clients for whom we do that, but very few of them. Because generally, $100,000 is something which people invest in the US market as only 10-15% Okay. Okay. Got that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Patnagar. But uh, I'll be happy to do it in case you need it. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll get your expertise on that. Thank you, Patnagar. Maitri has asked, uh, are ETFs part of uh, the portfolio or is there an option of investing in global ETFs? Global ETFs are already part of the portfolio. Sometimes uh, it is direct stock. Sometimes it is through ETFs. For example, lithium stocks. Every electronic device uses lithium lithium battery. Lithium stocks, if you look at them, they have gone down in the, over the last six months, but the price of lithium ore has gone up. So it has created a very nice opportunity to invest into lithium because the upside will be very good in the next few months. So that is the kind of thing we also do. So lithium ETFs, yes, we, they, they are there in our portfolio. Secondly, do you handle NRI clients also? Yes, ma'am. We can handle um, NRI clients anywhere in the world except three countries. Uh, US, Mexico, and Canada. NRIs from these three countries cannot invest in our product because of the FATCA regulations. FATCA regulations, you must have come across this phrase FATCA when you had either opened your bank account or invested in a mutual fund or invested in stocks. This FATCA thing would have come up to you even in India because India, US have this FATCA agreement. So as per this law, NRIs from US, Canada, and Mexico cannot invest, but NRIs from Middle East, Singapore, Australia, UK, 
they can all invest in our portfolios. Great. Even from Pakistan also? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Anurag, how many clients you have from India now? Um, madam, we have about 9,000 clients in India. Oh, that's a huge number. That's a good number. Good, good. We started in 2018, but uh, we did not market ourselves for the first three years because oh. we wanted to first go through it with our own money. So we created a portfolio with $3 million of our own money. Oh, okay. And we went through the ups and downs and we were able to prove to ourselves that yes, this works even when the market is down, we are able to preserve the capital. Oh, nice. Good, good, good. We opened it up to retail last year. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much. A very informative and we will uh, contact Hardik for a little more fine-tuning uh, till we really plunge into it, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'll, I'll be sharing uh, his direct numbers also with uh, you. Okay. Okay. That is nice. The presentation and the recording of today's meeting. Uh, yeah. Bhai, I will send to you the presentation as well as the brochure and uh, the, li <laughs> the link. Sure. The link I, I wanted to record, but then I don't know how technically to operate because I wanted this to go to my daughter, uh, Hardik, uh, Dr. Tejaswini, you know. Mm -hmm. huh. sure. no, no, we, we have recorded it and we will send it oh, to you. That will be nice. Being Sunday tomorrow, she'll be able to listen to it. Sure, sure, sure. We will do it. Thank you, Hardik. Thank you. All. Do we have any other questions or uh, we, we can just wind it up? I would I would just like to say one thing, Hardik Bhai. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for your time on a Saturday evening. You've taken time away from your family and given to me. I'm really obliged and thankful for it. Secondly, I would suggest start slow. It is new for you. Open an account. Go for a portfolio first. Over the next two, three months, observe, watch, learn, call me, talk to me. I will help you. Once you have gone, gained enough confidence, then go ahead and invest directly. Sure. Direct stocks. Okay. Fine. So once again, thank you, Anurag ji. Thank you, each one of you, for sparing your time this one hour of your Saturday evening. And we, as you know, inform, I'll be sharing the recording of this meeting along with the brochure and uh, today's presentation to all of you through email. And that will have uh, Anurag ji's contact number. So I am not a finance expert. I run an event company. So anything you need more information, you can be in direct touch with uh, Anuragji for sure. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.